But two. Oh my god. Ooh, that's a Oh my god! Ryan Sieg! Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 5 career mode. Today we've got the 18th race of the Xfinity season. It is Kentucky Speedway, 50 laps. Oh boy. Last time out, we were at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The Brickyard was a very frustrating race to say the least. If you missed that one, I'll put a link to it up in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Go back, give it a watch, and then you'll be all caught up and can watch today's episode without missing a thing. So, Kentucky, we got a decent car. We just got to stay away from some of our newly found rivals like Tommy Joe Martins and Jeff Green, those punk bastards. Anyways, let's take a look at the point standings and see just how dire things are for us as we get closer and closer to the playoffs. Harrison Burton now has four wins on the season, separating himself even further and establishing himself as a championship favorite at this point. Briscoe's got two along with Chastain and Allgaier. Alfredo, Hemrick, Herbst, and Haley. Josh Williams all have one. Sindrick, Gregson, Jones, the three drivers without a win at this point. Remember, Matt Mills and Joe Graff Jr. both have wins, but are outside the top 20 in points, so they're not eligible. So that's wild wild stuff that two winners are not playoff eligible but uh we're 19th in the standings we got nine races left until the playoffs begin nine more opportunities to get our car into victory lane we still got daytona uh which is our probably our best chance we got a couple of road courses out on the horizon road america watkins Glen. <sighs> i don't know we just got to give it our best shot every week and try and make something happen so up next, another opportunity here at Kentucky. Let's see what we can do from the Bluegrass State. Welcome to Kentucky Speedway for the Alsco 300. Jesse Little failed pre-race inspection. Unfortunate. Ryan Sieg also failed technical inspection. They'll be going to the back. And our rival, Tommy Joe, failed optical scanning station. You hate to see that. Uh, another decent little qualifying effort for us. Not the best effort in the world, but I think the car is pretty balanced, so I'm excited about that. Let's get it off here at Kentucky. Balance is good. I think we'll be all right if the balance is where it needs to be. 10 laps here in stage number one. We can go 14 on fuel. Car, again, felt balanced to me on, on a couple of laps of practice. We'll see if it stays that way. But yeah, she's hunting the bottom pretty nice so far early on. I like this. This is what you like to see. Not getting our doors blown off. All right, we're just sort of holding our own here in 18th. Can't really quite catch the guys in front of us yet, but not getting pressured by the guys behind us either. Just sort of uh, in our own little zone, if you will. Give it a couple laps here and see if uh, we can't pick up the pace a little bit on these guys. I would imagine. I mean, that's how it's been all year. We run like five, six laps, and then all of a sudden the car's got pace again. Hello. Where did you come from, Joe Graff Jr.? Damn. I think he heard me talking about how he's not eligible for the playoffs. He's found another gear all of a sudden. Okay. There we go. Now we got the tire advantage. It's so easy to tell when it happens, too, because we just blow right by these guys. We can just get back to the gas so much faster in the corners. Really weird. But that's what we got. Oh, baby, this thing's getting loose out of the corner. Holy hell. Out of two, it just about snapped right there. Yeah, she's a handful out of two. She don't like turning anymore out of two, I'll tell you that. Down here, not too bad. Yeah, it gets really, really loose. Joe, don't crowd me on entry and that won't happen. Problem solved. Last lap of stage one here. Made up a pretty decent amount of ground. It's just, it's that same thing where it's like, okay, we're fast at the end of the stage, but we're so slow at the beginning of the stage 
by the time we start making up ground, we're still way behind. Just uh, aggravating. And it's going to be P11 in stage one. Just barely missed out on points, but, uh, you know, whatever. All right. Uh, we need to make some adjustments because I'm murdering the right front here. So I'm going to uh, make a little wedge adjustment, a little tire pressure adjustment, and we'll be seeing what she does. But uh, stage one is done. Stage two for you coming up next. Ow, we lost four spots on pit road. Come on, boys. I need better than that. Stage two, another 10 laps. All right, here we go. What do we got this time? We're four wide. We're four wide, TJ, but that's okay. Joe Nemechek, didn't you start in the back? Wow, all the way up to 16th? Jeez. Way to go, Joe. Old man's on it today. Must be nice. Got one down low now. Got one God damn down it, low. we're just getting swarmed right now. Just getting absolutely swarmed by people. We're losing all the spots that we picked up in the second half of stage one. We're just giving them all back now because that's just the way this game works. Ah, man, I hate that so much. Oh, somebody ate shit off of two. Oh, my God. Ooh, that's a... Oh, my God! Ryan Sieg in the air, and we just drove under him. Oh, oh my God. If that's not the thumbnail, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, my God. We need a slow motion replay of that. Oh, it's a, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh lord, we're pitting for tires. I'm loosening this thing up. Oh my goodness, that was incredible. I have that. I can't wait to go back and look at that in the replay. Chase Briscoe's out of the race. The Ryan Sieg All got right. ramped up into the air, and we drove right under him. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, let's go. White flag. That was too funny. Well, I didn't realize it was going to be a one lap shootout, or I wouldn't have pitted for tires, but uh, yeah. Stay high, stay high. Inside, inside. No points that stage, but plenty of racing left. Oh, I was too distracted by the driving underneath a flying car. Uh, to think about where we were in the stage because I would not have pitted, but uh, well, we'll stay out. Why not? We need a win. We got to do something, man. We got to do something. So we'll stay out. Tires aren't worn. Stage two is through. Stage three. Ooh, wee. What a race. All right, me and Mike. Yes, sir, big Mike. All right, well, I'm not the only one then. Here we go, Mike. Let's go, baby. Applebee's is on me. If you can... Help me out here. He's already getting motored. There you go, Mike. Oh my God, Mike, shove me in the fence. Okay, all right. Clear. All right, apparently I am too slow for Mike Harmon. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. What are we doing, Mike? Come on, Mike, be cool, bro. Mike, Mike. He didn't, he, is he say, he did, is he save, he didn't save it? Is he, did he? I don't know. No caution. What the hell was that? <laughs> he just kept sliding and sliding and sliding. Mike. All right. Well, we'll, we'll talk about it at Applebee's. 
Well, at least we got some track position now. I think we'll be okay in the long run. Yeah, we'll have to pit a little bit earlier than these guys, but I think in the grand scheme of things, that was the right uh, the right strategy. Well, hi, Ryan Sieg. Nice to see you back up here after you were, uh, you know, flying through the air. Ah, God bless NASCAR heat. Flying through the air, now back up to seventh. Incredible. This thing's pretty quick right now. It's still evil loose out of two, but it's not doing too bad up here with a little bit older tire. One lap older, two lap older tires than these guys. We're holding our own. All right, see you, Justin. Oh, baby. Oh, come back, come back. Like I said, it's evil, evil loose out of two. It never came back. Okay, well, there's the caution. We're going to pit for tires and tighten this thing back up a little bit. I just don't know where the balance is on this thing. Well, I'll just go halfway, I guess. To the back we go. Clements, Harrison Burton, Mike, and Matt Mills all pitted as well. Interesting. Interesting strategy. We'll have to follow that other 20 car up to the front, I guess. Mr. Four win, Harrison Burton himself. Still there. Hold that line, driver. Slow cars, slow cars. Car outside, hold the line. Five wide. Five wide at Kentucky. No big deal. Oh. Inside. Oh my God. Save it. Ah! <laughs> We're okay. We're okay. There we go. Now we can make some power moves. That was not a power move. Ooh, four wide. A little four wide. Listen, I don't have time to waste, man. We got to go. That's really all there is to it. We have got to go. Hello, everybody. Joe Graff Jr. Sorry. Mm, wall. Rough, rough driving out here, man. Caution. We have a caution. All right, Mike, take it easy, buddy. Um, well, so much for the tire advantage now. Now we have to ride out this uh, run. Interesting. Restarting 25th. Everyone can make it to the end now. We need this thing to stay green to the end. If it doesn't, I don't have a very good feeling about where we're finishing. Nine laps. It's not a lot. All right, you're clear there. Oh my God! What is this thing doing? Hold your line. Got one outside. Man, I'm getting my ass kicked now in this race. What the hell happened? It's a big glob of cars in front of us. It's a lot of spots we can make up if I drive this thing right. Immediately drives into a whole pack of cars. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> well, not exactly what I had in mind. We're gonna need every one of these laps to try and make up these spots. Man, this race really had some, uh, had some potential and it just went to shit. That is really disappointing, man. Really disappointing. Two laps to go here. We can still get a few more spots. We can get a top 15 out of this. Last time in three and four, what do we got? Drag line to the drag race, drag line, 10th place. I don't know what I'm saying. 
10th place, drag line. What the hell's a drag line? Uh, these races, man, they are aging me. I swear to God. All right, I want to show you guys what happened to Ryan Sieg when we drove under him. So you see Chase Briscoe's spinning around back there. Ryan Sieg somehow spun out as well, and then gets absolutely destroyed by Jesse Little and <laughs> just gets ramped up into the air. <laughs> the rear tires on Little's car come off the ground, but Ryan Sieg just goes up in the air and floats there, and we drive right under him right there. And he lands behind us. Absolutely incredible. I love this game. Noah Gregson gets his first win of the season. Locks himself into the playoffs pretty much. Justin Allgaier finishes second. Sieg, after flying through the air, finishes in third. What a recruit. At, uh, <laughs> okay. Chastain, Jones, Herbst, Annette, LeBay, Brown, and we get 10th. Shout out to Ryan Sieg. My dude flies through the air and recovers to finish third. Only in NASCAR heat. You love to see it. Riley Herbst, fastest lap of the race. Good for him, honestly. Jeremy Clements led the most laps, but did not get the victory. That's unfortunate for him. Ryan Sieg, what a day on the move. <laughs> Chase Briscoe started second, finished 36th. Well, no social media this go around, so I guess... Uh, Nobody had anything to say after our 10th place fit. I would have put something out there on social media for Ryan Sieg after flying through the air and recovering to finish third. I, incredible. That's the storyline of the race. Probably going to be in the title of this video as well. But you know what? Speaking of this video, if you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a thumbs up on it and a comment down below. Give me your thoughts on today's race at Kentucky. What did you think of Ryan Sieg's flight through the air and recovery? I feel like we had a really good chance at a better finish today and we just couldn't realize it the way the cautions fell and the way the car handled out of two I just uh was never really comfortable with it so a 10th place finish isn't bad but it doesn't really mean a whole lot we need a win only eight more races now until the playoffs start and we are still not in the playoffs that's a problem we'll look to fix it but looking forward to hearing your thoughts down below and replying back to all the clever things that you guys have to say speaking of if you're enjoying this series and you haven't yet hit that subscribe button to join the community, I hope today is the day that I earn that subscription from you. I know I'm not winning, not yet. We're going to get there, don't you worry. But with your support, we're going to grow this thing, the team, the channel, everything. It's getting bigger and better every single day. So, again, if you're enjoying the content, why not subscribe? Support the channel, help it grow. We'd love to have you. If you want to connect with the community a little bit deeper, remember we have our community Discord server as well. Nearly 700 people as of this recording. So that's linked down in the description below, along with all my social media contacts. If you want to get in touch with me, at Schildhouse on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And as always, you can catch me streaming live on my Twitch page at twitch.tv slash Schildhouse. Other than that, we'll look forward to the next race at New Hampshire. Yuck. But uh, perhaps we can sneak a win out of the magic mile in the granite state of New Hampshire. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Appreciate you watching it. Be good and be good to each other. We will see you in the next episode.